Now, we wanted to start with something that the Albanese government has decided to do, and that is it's, uh, it's handed over the control of the port of Darwin to a corporation, Landbridge, which is under the control of the uh, Chinese government. What is your assessment of that? Well, it's certainly part of the People's Republic of China or the Communist Party of China's uh, ongoing program around the world to gain control of commercial ports, both for commercial reasons and for prepositioning uh, of, of the PRC for better access for trade and for naval matters. So this is uh, not unique. I mean, we, we see the, uh, the Communist Party's of China's interest in not only the port of Darwin, but the uh, other ports in Australia, like Newcastle and the like, uh, ports in Sri Lanka, in Greece, uh, and so on and so on, and United Arab Emirates, uh, uh, and uh, as well as, for example, Djibouti and the like. So we see that around the world. And of course, the the, le the 99 year lease on the port of Darwin uh, occurred uh, quite a few years ago, uh, and has been circumvented to a large degree by the Commonwealth Government's decision to build a new port in Darwin, which will uh, far exceed the capacity of the old port, uh, and that will be suitable for um, trade and naval purposes. It's going to take a lot of work, uh, but it will circumvent that 99-year that lease on, on the older, smaller port there in Darwin.